All right, in today's video, we're gonna set up Tailwind 1.0 on a new Laravel app. Let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is install Laravel with new Tailwind setup. So let that download and install quickly. Okay, so now Laravel is installed. We can see our files on the left. Uh, our CLI is done here. So I'm gonna to navigate to that directory and then I'm gonna link it up with Valet. Okay, so that's linked up. And now in our browser, we have a new fresh Laravel app. Next thing I'm gonna do is install Tailwind. So using Yarn, it's called Tailwind CSS. And it's gonna be a dev dependency. All right, now that Tailwind's installed, we can set up Laravel Mix to use Tailwind during our build. So we're gonna open up webpack.mix file. We're gonna delete our line about SAS, and instead we're gonna use post CSS. We're gonna point it at our resources slash CSS slash main dot CSS file. And then we're gonna put the output directory to be public slash CSS. And then we're gonna give it an option. And that option is gonna be require Tailwind. Okay, so now what this is saying is saying build our JS like normal and then use post CSS to compile this main.css file and then run our plugin for Tailwind with our post CSS. So we need to make this main.css file. So in resources, I'll make a new folder called CSS. And in here, I'll make main.css. And then finally, the last thing we need to do is uh, in our main.css file, we need to put our Tailwind directives. So I'll open up the Tailwind docs. These three right here. And all this is saying is basically Tailwind, please include your base styles, your component styles, and then your utility files. So we have this uh, set up and ready to go. We have Webpack mix set up ready to go. We can run uh, yarn run watch, which will compile our CSS for us. And you'll see it's going to add, install a couple dev dependencies for us based on view being set up in Laravel projects. So now we got that running. Next thing we need to do is tweak our Laravel page to include our CSS file. So by default, Laravel includes all these styles. I'm just going to drop these and instead import a new CSS file using mix located at the CSS directory main.css. And that is going to be a style sheet. Okay, and then on our body, we'll just make the background red uh, for testing. So the BG red 500. And we go back to our Laravel installation. We refresh. We can see that A, we've included, I'll try to make this bigger. We've included the main.css file for us. And then we have no styles except for our red background, which is coming from the BG red 500 class. So then we can come in here and change our text to be color white. Right, and everything set up and ready to go. So that's it, That's it's really simple. It's like three steps to install Tailwind on a new Laravel project. I highly recommend Tailwind. I uh, hope you liked the video. And if you did, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. You can follow me at Owen Quanti on Twitter. Thanks for watching.